za drize z buzdari i kostami. I haven't done a uh, Game of Thrones Jon Snow show leaked video in not just a while, but really ever. So I've compiled some of the most craziest, insane leaks for the Jon Snow show. Please do me a massive favor if you enjoy my stuff here on YouTube. Uh, slap a like on it, right? Like goal's gonna be 420. <laughs> Get it? And then also, make sure you're subscribed. And then this is the most important part. After you subscribe, turn your notifications all the way on. La 211. There's several different tiers of, you know, types of notifications you get on YouTube, all personalized or none, right? Click on all, so that way every single time I upload in this upcoming month of December, which would probably be, you know, very frequently, you'll get alerted when my videos drop, and that's awesome, because then you'll be able to watch one right away, and I'm still trying to get through the shadow band. Also, consider checking out my Patreon over at patreon.com slash your reviews if you really enjoy this video. I am not the latest the Exos now. Oh yeah, before I forget, Special shout out to Brandy Reed. She's a member of the Dragon Lord tier on my Patreon. And then also, special shout out to the North Muscle member, uh, Heart of Inspiration, and Brian Johnson. They are all members of the Dragon Knight tier over on Patreon as well. I am not. Okay, so before I jump into it, these leaks were actually sent to me through the DMs over on Twitter. The, the title, that would be a good thing to talk about first because, well, the show is... Still going by snow, which is probably not going to be the actual title once the show comes out. It's just a working title. But three, you know, I've been sent many leaks, so I sort of narrowed it down. But three that I think are the most legitimate are one of them, Aegon, right? That's simple. That's Jon Snow's name. Also, with the new House of the Dragon show, that name has so much more significance. Like, yes, we, we know that Aegon the Conqueror was mentioned in the main Game of Thrones show, but that's Jon Snow's name. There's a reason why Rhaegar chose to name two of his heirs Aegon, right? Like, you could say that, uh, you know, Lyanna named Jon Snow in memory of uh, Rhaegar as Aegon because she had had a conversation with Aegon, uh, with Rhaegar, and he said, hey, that's what I want to name my other son, right? Maybe, maybe Rhaegar saw his other son, the first Aegon, getting his head bashed against the wall by the mountain. Remember when the mountain fought the Red Viper, right? Oberyn Martell? In Game of Thrones Season 4, uh, the whole reason why Oberyn decided to do that and fight for t the side of Tyrion and the Lannisters, who he fucking hates. And the reason why he did it is because his little sister, his kids, were brutally murdered by the mountain. One of them was Aegon, so that could potentially be the name of the show. Aegon, right? It has a lot of significance, more so than sh uh, Snow. And then another... Uh, potential name that was sent to me through the DMs over on Twitter. Please go follow me at Sir Underscore Hounds. Um, was Winter, right? Winter and then also King. Those are just, they they work. Uh, you know, Winter is coming, the famous words of House Stark. The show could potentially, instead of just being shortened to Winter, could be Winter is coming. Uh, the, the only thing that makes the most sense is that the plot revolves around the threat that comes from the North. The show is called, well, I'm sorry. The book series is called A Song of Ice and Fire, and from book one, George does an amazing job of having the symbology of ice and fire. We switch between Daenerys' chapters and Ned's chapters and a lot of the Stark's chapters, and for instance, uh, Ned is always thinking about how Starks are cold Northmen. Like, whenever anybody describes how Ned looks, it's like he's got oh, ice in his veins, and he's just this cool, calm, collected northern dude, right? So you have a particular passage of what Ned is describing winter is like and how Starks are supposed to be this frozen, uh, you know, just uh, like basically a house that even though what decision or whatever they're doing may be hard they remember that you know they come from hard times right winter is always coming right so you know in juxtaposition to that when you switch to daenerys's pov well she's in the middle of the desert right everything's hot she's got dragons around her like uh, dragon eggs in particular in the first book uh, but it's mentioned how she can feel the heat coming off of the eggs and this is part of the reason why she realizes they're alive and they must go into the fire uh pyre the funeral pyre with her and cal drogo right so it makes sense if you want to you know have this show titled winter uh, you know, um, and then getting on to the actual plot now this this is interesting uh these people mention that the Jon Snow show is about how Jon Snow must lead an army to take back Westeros from, get this, Aegon. 
Phagon, who has claimed Daenerys's dragon Drogon, right? So uh, apparently, this is a few years after you know the events of season eight, and this you know this new character Phagon shows up in uh, the Seven Kingdoms and starts wreaking havoc, bringing fire and blood to everyone in Westeros. And it's mentioned that because he has Drogon. Like you know, Balerion the Black Dread come again. The only person who could potentially oppose him is Jon Snow, even though Jon Snow doesn't have a dragon, right? So apparently, the whole plot will be about Jon Snow coming back down south. And the idea is that Drogon won't harm Jon Snow because, well, he you know, when when Jon killed Daenerys, Drogon literally just burned down the Iron Throne. So this symbology is kind of there, but apparently, it will be about how Jon will eventually claim another dragon that will be set up in House of the Dragon, like how that dragon's still alive, so it'll either be uh, Silverwing, I guess. Silverwing, canonically, is one of the few dragons that survives the dance, or maybe even uh, Sheepstealer. Um, Sheepstealer definitely survives the events of the dance, but supposedly around 150 AC is when the last dragon died, and then, you know, when uh, around 300 AC, Daenerys brings them all back, right? So, it'll be interesting. It will be very interesting. Um, it'll rely on House of the Dragon to set up some of that context for the plot. And if that's the case, I could see why they want to get season two out first. And then the snow show would potentially come out in like uh, 2025. Maybe. Um, it, 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 I hope it doesn't take that long to produce a Song of Ice and Fire content. Um, I mentioned this before. Uh, multiple videos and then also recently on Facebook. My buddy Pete Snow made a post about how... They need to sort of get on the Marvel type of thing. We're not just release crap all the time, doesn't matter what's in it. No, every year there should be some sort of new thing coming in, right? Like HBO um, and, a, and George R. R. Martin, right? They should be working hand in hand to get out something, right? That That's my dream. Uh, if, if you all are watching this, agree with it, let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching till this point. This is the end of the video. Uh, just to re-go over the information real quick, because, you know, I kind of talked a lot in between. Uh, so, uh, so the title could either be Aegon, uh, Winter, King of Winter, uh, Ice and Fire, or something along those lines. It definitely won't just be Snow as the working title. Um, and then also the returning characters are Kit Harrington, who plays Jon Snow, Gwendolyn Christie, who plays Brienne of Tarth, Joe Dempsey, who plays Gendry, Christopher Haviju, who plays... Uh, Tormund Giantsbane, and then Sophie Turner, who plays, obviously, Sansa Stark, Maisie Williams plays Arya, and then Isaac Hempstead, right, plays freaking Bran. So all of those actors have supposedly been signed on to come back, minus Amelia Clark. There's, there was no mention of Amelia Clark. Uh, the plot, this person mentions, remember, it's an amalgamation of a little bit of my stuff, a little bit of those three leakers. It's about Jon Snow must lead an army to take back Westeros from Phaegon, who has claimed Daenerys' dragon Drogon and brought fire and blood to the Seven Kingdoms. No one could hope to fight Aegon except for Jon, since Drogon never burned him. The idea is proposed that Jon can kill Aegon and claim Drogon and tame him from destroying the city. Uh, Daenerys will not return in this series, but her body will apparently be shown. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you could, please do me a massive favor. Slap a like on this video. Like goal is going to be 420. Uh, make sure you subscribe, and then this is the most important part. Turn your notifications all the way on. Law 2 and 11. Law Spinal Tap reference. Law. I do that every video, but like... It has all personalized and none. Just click on the all option. Please, if you really enjoy my stuff. I don't know.